Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The following is a professional contest in the welterweight division, and we are looking forward to three five-minute rounds of action. It is time to meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with a record of two wins and two defeats, representing Team Harat MMA, it's the Devourer, Rostislav Tor. Standing across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, making his professional debut and representing proper gym, it's Andreas Trichomitis. Second professional contest of the evening. And again, we return to the welterweight division to absolutely packed out 77 kilogram men. Andreas on the far side, short, stocky, but ultimately huge, carries a lot of muscle mass, but as does his foe, Ratislav, who has been breakdancing in the cage for the last sort of 90 seconds. He looks like he's a lot of energy. Yeah, looks like he's really enjoying the occasion. But uh, one thing I'll know from the proper gym lads is that Andreas will be all business He's a serious looking dude, is Andreas. Yeah, and ultimately I was right. He's just sort of just stepping off, just figuring out his opponent. Good right hand oh. from Andreas. And I think that woke Ratislav right up. Yeah. Just as he countered uh, Ratislav's uh, low kick there with a nice looping right hand, right hook. And on the button it was. It was. Dropped Ratislav. We don't know at the moment. To what extent the damage is because he manages to tie Andreas up. Andreas working hard to get that free. Beautiful trip. That Looking for the suplex. Oh. oh, big slam. And now unleashing right hammers. Didn't even know what to call those. Uh, oh, and he's gone for again. But he's got the grip, he's got the uh, the gable grip. He's looking for uh he'll be looking for another suplex. His opponents. Well, Ratislav's sort of signaling to his corner. He's just sort of smiling. He's like, yes, I'm okay. Don't worry. To his corner team. Cool as a cucumber. It's uh, tough. But he's ultimately got an absolute beast of an opponent glued to him. Trying to suplex him and drop him on his head. He's trying his best to look for that Gamora group. He's uh, tough. Um, he's lost his gum shield. Just a halt to the action whilst he gets that put back in. He's, gonna, he's trying to sit through Ratislav, but he's not really in the position to do so. Oh, no way. Uh, Andreas has got a vice grip right now. It. Andreas is quite happy just to try and squeeze the life out of the midriff of Ratislav at the moment, who manages to recover. The strength of Andreas is unbelievable. It's phenomenal. It's <laughs> Ratislav is a big dude, and he's, he's just ragdolling him at the moment. He can't break the grip. And Ratislav back to his feet again, but this is this really where you want to be? And Ratislav, it's all well and good looking at your corner saying I'm fine, but you, you're really not. Yeah, a couple more of them and you won't be. Andreas is, like I said, he's just relentless, getting into the positions. Beautiful knee on departure though there. Just uh, Ratislav's uh, kind of cornering his corner more than his corner's cornering him right now. He's uh, been engaged in conversation the full time. Front kick, right hand from Andreas, and I don't really know quite yet. I've not quite figured out what Ratislav's game plan is, because he, he does cut Andreas off, pushes him back towards the cage, doesn't pull the trigger, and Andreas pulls his own, one, two. Yeah. And the good thing, well, I say the good thing, I think Andreas is going to like this pace, because as much as it's Ratislav who's dictating that pace at the moment, um, Andreas isn't exerting any any energy and he can literally sort of step back like he just did then, throw one, two and move away. And then if it gets into this position, yep. I'd probably favour Andreas to go back to the, the vice-like grip, as we said, and ultimately do more of this, which is what he is doing up against the cage right now. Yeah, but nice nice little inside knee by right slab there. Is there? Shoots for the oh, single. Beautiful. beautiful deep shot. Oh, Ratislav kind of uh, pulled the kick there a little bit. It was aiming straight for his head. He can't kick a down opponent in the head. Absolutely, as we said. I 
think for me if I was oh looks, looks, my word looks for some capoeira <laughs> style Andres kick but, Andreas catches him like in a fireman carry but this is what I'm saying Ratslav's still dictating the pace he's got the center of the cage for me I'd rush him try and try and break Andreas his game plan because yeah. I think this is favoring Andreas he's not exerting any energy he's winning the round thus far and when it gets within range, he's the one that fires first. Yeah. Watch this. Ratislav moves forward. One, two, three, four from Andreas. Ratislav yep. backs off, comes forward. And Andreas is he's he's quite happy to stand in the pocket with an opponent who's not going to punch him. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Ratislav really needs to kind of uh, pull the trigger first and uh, maybe forget about those fancy kicks for now because he's tentative. I don't know if he's looking for a highlight yeah. real KO, but it's going to be a long old night for him if that's what he's trying to do. See what I mean? Well, we know he's athletic. That's exactly how we came out onto the stage with that exact same kick. And uh, maybe he should kind of put that to bed a little bit and focus a bit more on scoring a few points because he's clearly got skills. Yep, looks in great shape. Cuts the image of a fighter. Ultimately not throwing any offense at the moment. One round down, one round in the books for Andreas in the blue corner. And like you say, for a man that carries such... A high quantity of muscle mass as Andreas does. Oh, yeah. Barely looks like he's got going. I know, he's built like a truck, and uh, it's Ratislav who's uh, hanging his head a little bit there and uh, looks a bit panicky, breathing heavy. But wouldn't you if you'd just been flipped through the air a few times? And Ratislav telling his cornerman to uh, cool him down with the towel. Like you say, he's put his arms up. As you said, I'm not sure who's cornering who here. But uh, I'd like to see some more urgency from Andreas in this round. I've got, got nothing more to say. Ashley Reese in the corner of uh, Andreas. To me, what looked like a command of attack from Andreas. So we move into round two. Professional welterweight cont. What's happened here? Oh, okay, he's not yeah. got his gum shield in. Oh. It'll be a good start. Here we go, round two of this professional welterweight contest, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Hands are very low, given that he got dropped in the first shot of the first round. Absolutely, if you're uh, joining us at this later hour in proceedings, here at the L2 Academy in Leeds, Andreas uh, Trichometus uh, tr from uh, Proper Gym in the blue corner. Currently one round up against Ratislav Toth in the red corner from Team Hara MMA. Professional welterweight contest scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And uh, again, the action just like it, as it was in round one. A steady start. Um, Ratislav looks, to put it bluntly, he looks hesitant. He doesn't look like he wants to fire the shot. I don't know if the right hand from the very first punch of this fight, ladies and gentlemen, if you missed it. Uh, Andreas unloaded a short right hook, which which dropped Ratislav. So I don't know if that's just made him as the, the, the referees urging them to to fight. And Andre go on down, sorry. But at the same time, I want to see Andreas kind of you know maybe engage a little bit more as well. You know, for all the good that he did in the first round, they both kind of just yeah. Andreas just a, a slight little signal then, as if to say, "Come to me," because yeah. that's where he had the the. He, he's, he looks like a counterfighter. Yeah. No, I don't want that to to discredit his ability because when he's come forward, he's 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 been by far the best fighter. But yeah. I think it's allowed him to get into the position such as this by allowing um, Ratislav to overcommit, to, like when he tried the spinning whatever in the yeah. in the first round, the capoeira. He effectively just ended up in a position where he was going to get suplexed. Yeah. So now Andreas on top, in the dominant position with a lot of this round to work. Some nice short elbows there, but they, um, I think a couple of them hit the back of uh, Andreas' head there. Right, Slav has his guard pass now. Not completed though, manages to regain a bit of a half guard. Andreas just pins him straight back to the ground again. Andreas, like you say, he's heavy in his hips, can keep his opponent down. He's happy to stay here. He'll do enough to stay in this position, and our referee will just stand on and just let him watch and just watch him until the bell. 
See, it's just chipping away, just chipping away. Looking to pass that guard. And he steps back and delivers a nice little leg kick to uh, Rislav. Don't underestimate those kicks, they hurt. Rislav didn't make any effort to kind of get back up there, just laid on his back. Looking to maybe, I don't know, unleash an up kick that never came. The referee just steps in for a moment, telling him to watch the back of the head. Andreas does just give it a little rub and a wince, but he's quite happy to continue. I'm not entirely sure what... I was going to say, I don't know what Ratislav was hunting for there by rolling onto his left side other than to give the pass to Andreas, and he's done that. Andreas looking very dominant now. You can tell this is his world. Yeah, he looks like a very stocky, heavy grappler. Yeah, and this is looking like it's turned into a long night for Ratislav. It reminds me of um, the fighter that we saw a couple of times. We won on the last show, uh, Adamchik. Very mm. short, stocky, extremely powerful wrestler. Mm -hmm. And just having his way with his opponent at the moment. I totally agree there, Chris. But uh, you can see that uh, Andreas is just hunting that far arm, that left arm of Ratislav, just looking for something. And he's not in any hurry. But like I said, he's doing enough to keep the position. And that's a bit of la yeah, I was And here's another suplex. I was going to say, a bit of life from Ratislav there. Jumps up, looks to improve the position. But momentarily, is Andreas, again, as you said, Dan, Big old suplex. It's going to be soul destroying if you're right, Slav, right now. You've done the work, you've put it in, you've got back to your feet, and then you've taken a ride. It's going to be body destroying too. The longer this right goes on, some short right hands from Andreas. Now, see, it's showing a bit more urgency now. Yeah, I thought Andreas was going to step off there and tell him to get to his feet. Last 10 seconds of the second round here. And our second pro fight of the evening. Yeah, and uh, two rounds to the good for Andreas. Mm. <clears throat> the proper gym product from the far side there. Just uh, getting his instructions and it, to be honest, if you're Andreas, I would say at the moment, you don't look to be in any real danger. Keep, well, throw caution to the wind, but ultimately, Try and take this guy out. If you're uh, Ratislav's corner, I'd be saying, well, you've been a little bit hesitant thus far. You've shown that you've got some fancy footwork, but I, I don't want to, to sound rude, but I can't remember the last time he's put a glove on Andreas. I'd be saying, now you've got to be prepared to be suplexed out, punched onto your shield, go out on that shield. But ultimately, you've, you've just got to go for absolutely everything here. I see. Uh, you've got to throw caution to the wind there. Uh, maybe string something together. Forget the fancy moves for now. You know, he had, he had a little bit of success in the first round with his striking. You know, some knees, some nice low kicks. So maybe, maybe try that out again because what's, what's happening now is just not working for you, right? And this is the position here where there's distance, where he's got the centre of the cage. Again, he looks for Capoeira. And he, he looks for the suplex for his troubles. He looks for the spinning wheel kick. He takes too long to do it. Andrea spots it coming, closes the distance, and he can just latch onto his back and suplex him as he's just done. Yeah, he definitely wound that one up from the red corner all the way over to the blue. Andreas just caught him. Sent him for a ride again. And it's a similar story to round two now, Chris. And like you say, Andreas, in this position, he's, he's going to be in absolutely no... He's in no danger. He's, he's, uh, in, he's in no hurry. It's nothing special, but it's getting the job done, and it's dominant. <clears throat> and this is the thing. This goes back to what we were talking about as an amateur. For me, if you're a debut amateur, you want to go through the rounds. You want as much experience as possible. When you turn in professional and you step into those ranks you effectively become an amateur professional. You need to do the same. It's all well and good winning. Everybody loves a 10-0 fighter. Everybody wants to be the next Anderson Silva, Conor McGregor, but Andreas is a debut professional here. He's not rushing. He's absolutely dominating this fight, and he's showing 
complete fight etiquette. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I totally agree. And uh, the thing is, you know, get th those minutes are valuable. They are valuable, like you say, Chris. And, uh, you know, he's in no real danger. You know, he, he doesn't need to really show any urgency to get him put, to get um, Look Ratislav put away. Ratislav's just spat his gum shield. I think it was Ratislav. It might have been. He's looking to buy some time, I uh, believe. But uh, if it's Andreas, is Andreas isn't going to. I think it is Andreas. He's not going to stop for a gun. He's not bothered. As I said, he's just looking to make it as dominating as possible. And look at the look on Ratislav's face. That is a guy that he looks like he's almost accepted defeat. Yeah, yeah. He's he's holding on. He's just holding on. He's not really putting forth any uh, attack. And that's it. He's got an overhook with his left arm. Why not try and go cross face and reverse the position? Andreas with an easy takedown, and he's already looking to pass. And uh, half guard right there against the cage. You don't get much better than that. Nope. And here come the left hands. Ultimate control there by Andreas. Moving into the final stages of this third and final round, as what have been uh, sorry of what has been. A very solid display. It's been a one-sided solid display, display from uh, Andreas, and he can be very proud. If uh, if it's if it plays out how it's looking right now, he can be very proud of his uh, of his uh, professional sorry and debut. I, and I tell you what, I hope he returns because he has a lot of potential, and he looks good. He and does. with how dominating he's been, he's a solid top game. Obviously, he's coming out of the same gym, but. Uh, Ratislav hunting the, the knee bar. No, too slippy. I was going to say, he reminds me of an Ashley Reese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he does. Big yeah. takedowns, big slams. Reese obviously in the corner of Andrea, so sort of channeling, which I would probably say one of his mentors. Reese has had five fights now, unbeaten, so you can imagine some of the wars that these guys have in the gym. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, like you said, they show a lot of similarities, so. Uh, you know, maybe they are close training partners indeed, you know. Um, unfortunately, Ratislav got to his feet for a second and for his uh, troubles, got dragged down into a face plant to the canvas. You and it's the same thing again. That's it, you can hear the corner of, uh, of Andreas as well. At this point, he's cruising. Yeah. He's, he's miles ahead, but they're just saying, keep working. Don't sit still, keep working. Even if you land in single shots, keep working. And they can almost just sit back and enjoy this now, you know. Uh, yeah, you don't want to uh, count your chickens, but That's it doesn't it. look to me like it's going to go any other way right now unless Ratislav pulls out something very, very spectacular. And it would have to be spectacular coming towards the end of this third round and this final, uh, sorry, and this fight. Andreas fighting most of that what round without say? a gum shield. Andreas probably didn't even realise he'd lost it. And Ratislav's just like not, it sort of looks like he wants to shake his hand. He again, doesn't throw a shot. Andreas closes the distance, and with 10 seconds to go, on barring some absolute miracle, it will be an absolute shutout and a takedown on the bell. Andreas doing everything correct. Doesn't even look like he's... He's got going, looks like he's just done a session in the gym. Yeah. And what an absolutely stellar debut performance. Great performance there by Andreas. Can be really proud of that. And he's going to be a force to be reckoned with if he carries on there. Uh, you know, he's surrounded by great guys. And yeah. Absolutely stellar performance, as I said. Three solid rounds. Makes his uh, professional debut and takes his record to 1 and 0. Oh. We will go to the judges' scorecards, but we are expecting a shutout. And it will be our MC, Lee Nicholson, who makes this decision official. Ladies and gentlemen, another bout that has gone the distance. Your appreciation for our fighters, please.
And so, after another three grueling rounds of action, we head to the judges' scorecards, where we have a unanimous decision for your winner in the blue corner, Andreas Trickomitis. And your appreciation, please, for Rastislav Tor.